good habits and learn, says Dr. Lenin. Seven kill in Kabul after car bomb blast near Interior Ministry. An alert that has demand disclosure of Indonagai agreement. Hello and welcome to Times of Manipur News. You are watching News Today. I am Jay Shoyna, giving you the news in details. Development and Protection Unity United Voluntary Organization, DPUVO, Nambul organized its eighth interaction program at Battle English School, Nambul. Advisor of St. John English High School, M. Ibobi Meite, Principal of Battle English School, A. Nabachandra, President of DPUVO, T. Kabakuman, Secretary of Battle English School, Tomba Konjengbam, and Principal of Special Regular English School, M. Kennedy, were present during the program. Resource person of the program, Dr. R.K. Lenin, head of Department of Psychiatry, Rims Imphal, stated that students must in imitate good habits and learn them. Lenin said that adolescence is a critical time of one's life and it needs carefulness. He noted that this is a period when they tend to adopt very soon. Dr. Lenin recommended parents to give proper guidance to their words during this time. Students and parents also took part in the program. Seven people were killed and seven others injured in a car bomb explosion near the Interior Ministry in the Afghan capital of Kabul today, according to reports. The bomb attack came a day after two Taliban commanders and the leader of the Hakuan militant groups were released in actions for two professors, an American and an Australian in a development some analysts had hoped could defuse violence in Afghanistan. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack. A suspected suicide bomber blew himself up outside police headquarters in Indonesia's city of Medan on Wednesday, wounding six people, police said just a month after an Islamist militant attack of former security minister. The motive for today's attack was not immediately clear, but Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim-majority country, has suffered a resurgence in homegrown militancy in recent years, with some attacks targeting police. National Police spokesman Dedi Parsetio said the perpetrator had died, and four officers and two civilians, one of whom was a police employee, had been wounded by the blast in a car park at Maiden Police Headquarters early morning. Indonesia Anti-Terrorism Unit Dandus 88 was investigating whether it was a lone wolf attack or linked to a radical group like the Islamic State-inspired Jamaha and Sharud Duala, which has carried out a series of attacks in the country. In support of the Kokomi, the Joint Committee for Manipur Integrity Moirang Subdivision, KG Moirang Kanba Loop, Kemkal, and members of Moirang Kendra Apunba Mairapai B Loop, Ima Loop, Mampil, along with Winger Association Tata Mezik and Tata Iris Association staged an alert rally yesterday. Around 350 vehicles took part in the rally. Banners like Bring Peace, Not Peace, No, Com no Compromise for Territorial Integrity of Manipur were displayed during the demonstration. President of Winger Association Naurim Bimol demanded immediate disclosure of the Naga Framework Agreement. He played support of the association to Kokomi and other social organizations until the content of the agreement is disclosed. <laughs> Sharuk 
Joining the series of alert protests being carried out under the aegis of Kokomi concerning Naga political dialogue, local residents of Wangjing took out a protest rally yesterday, during which a cop was injured during a scuffle near the residence of local MLA Paunam Brojen. Several organizations, clubs and marapaibis of Wangjing took part in the protest rally organized by all Wangjing youth organization. The protester also held a brief meeting at Wangjing Hodamba Pukriachoba. The protester marched through National Highway 102 and later stormed the residence of local MLA Paunam Brojen. Police, in their bid to control the angry demonstrator, used tear gas shell to disperse them. One cop was injured in the scuffle. Altogether, 2,000 people took part in the rally. Now it's time for a short break. Keep watching Times of Manipur News. Iram dama si mak tada saja ba kang lagi polam sing fang biragani luhong pandhana lag pada miam gida mak lay zare lay mak kabo loy nana luhong bagi akan ba discount supi zare aku pamaro gida mak contact awu eight one three one eight seven seven two one seven natraga nine six one two zero five six nine four one kang lag kabo cabi yo yam na hau ni. Classic Hospitality Training Institute, a unit of Babina Healthcare and Hospitality Industries Private Limited, initiated by Classic Group of Hotels, brings exciting short-term course, three months course in front office operations, three months course in food and beverages service operations, 45 days course in personality development and soft skills. Eligibility: 12 pass and 18 years to 30 years. Fee structure: rupees 15,000 for three months and rupees 10,000 for 45 days training. 100% placement assistance with free uniform and study material. Please contact Classic Hospitality Training Institute, Center One, Babina Diagnostics Building, or Center Two, Hotel Imphal by the Classic. Welcome back after the break. Under the Pradhan Mantri Abhiyan Surakshit Abhiyan, PMSMA, District Health Society and Block Program Management Unit, Kopum of Noni District, organized a medical checkup for expecting mothers come a health awareness came for Asha and Angalwadi workers at the primary health center of Kopum. Talking to Tom TV, State Nodal Official of Maternal Health, Dr. Mina Sheram, informed that the event was organized under the PMSMA to make available a safe bird planning for expectant mother in the interior areas of the state. Obstructive complication high body angang matanga onana lay bana chingbam ayamasi a koi laboratory test clinical examination amasung ultrasound to duna kangdu oga matam chana makoisi menes to biba laying biba ada mapam si da ngam dragan higher center da refer to basi a koi main objective ni koi PMSMA program si. The medical came was also attended by gynecologist Dr. Bilashni Tayanjam, radiologist Dr. Ruhi Gup, gynecologist Dr. James Alangbam, along with consultant of UNICEF Arun Maitram and doctors and nurses of the primary health center. Two documentary films, Mina Longjam Achobi in Love and Sonia Nepram Bloody Panic, have been selected for screening at the upcoming 12th edition of the film South Asia FSA to be held in Kathmandu, on November 14 to 17. According to reports, the film Achobi in Love will be screened on November 16, while Sonia's Neprom Bloody Fanik is scheduled for November 17 screening. This edition has recorded registration of 2,500 films, out of which 63 from seven countries have been selected for the four day mega festival. Taking serious note of the photos and videos that went viral on social media of the newlywed couple posing with Ashel rifles, Nagaland Governor Arun Ravi has directed Director General of Police DGP to register a criminal case, seize the guns and arrest the culprits. According to sources, Ravi, who is also the center's interlocutor for Naga Peace Talk, has directed the police to initiate actions against the couple and others' accomplices. According to reports, Ravi arrested asserted that such activities were not acceptable and would not be tolerated. Meanwhile, DGP has asked Commissioner of Police Dimapur to initiate action. Due to several decades of gun violence in Nagaland, unfortunately, most citizens are not well versed with the laws regarding uses of guns, especially assault rifles. There are many in instances where ordinary citizens without any harmful intentions have uploaded their photos with guns in their social media accounts. However, their particular picture caught the attention of many at a time when all eyes are on Nagaland, as Naga political groups and the center have entered a decisive phase to end the decades old Naga problem. 
Aizol Municipal Corporation organized a plastic-free rally at two locations in Aizol yesterday. The rallies held a Chenmari and Sikul Puikwan aim at students to make them more aware about the determinal effects of plastic. The rallies were part of AMC's ongoing drive to educate people about the harmful effects of single-use plastic and reduced plastic uses. The rally participants congregated at Lamul, where Chief Secretary Lal Nun Muay, Chuang No and AMC Mazer and AMC Mayor PC Lal Min Tang addressed the students and spoke about the harm plastic has on health and the environment. Students from 14 schools across Idol took part in the rally and pledged to reduce plastic uses. Pakistan ailing former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif today refused to meet Imran Khan government's demand to, sub to submit indemnity bonds worth rupees 700 crores for travel to the UK for medical treatment, saying it was illegal and denounced attempts to politicize his health. According to media reports, Pakistan cabinet decided to allow 69-year-old Sharif to go to UK for medical treatment if the Pakistan Muslim Lake Nawaj PMLN Supermo agrees to sign surety bonds making a commitment that he would return after the treatment and face corruption cases against him. The cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Khan approved removal of Sharif's name from no-flight list. Now we have the sports news. Novak Djokovic suffered defeat in a thrilling against an inspired Dominic team at the ATP Finals yesterday and now faces a showdown with great rival Roger Federer to decide who will reach the last four at the season ender. Swiss Federer struck off defeat by, a straight, by Austria's team in his opening group match to comfortably beat Italian Matteo Berrettini 7-6-2, 6-3 in the day's opening singles. But the real drama of the O2 Arena came later when team beat Djokovic 6-7-5, 6-3-7-6-5 in the standout match of the tournament so far. World number 5 team blazed 50 winners in a sensational display of aggressive hitting to claim his second group win and seal his first semi-final in his fourth appearance. While Federer is trying to avoid only his second group stage exit and 17 appearances at the year-ending showpiece, the stakes will be even higher for Jacoby. Now we have the local newspaper headlines. The Sungai Express. Trust government, maintain calm. Chief Minister appeals to all. Naga Mothers Association talks peace with Mairapai Bees, Kukumi. Congress MLAs to lobby for integrity at Delhi. All Manipur Students' Union warns against price hike of goods. The People's Chronicle. Santa will uphold interest of Manipur. The boycott call or demand for postponement of state's biggest tourism festival, Manipur Sangai Festival may send out a wrong message to the outside world. Territorial Council will show seats for bifurcation, says Ibobi. Kokomi demands packed details. Agitators petition Emily. Infall Free Press. Nagaland mothers reach out for peace to Manipur. Disturbed with RN Ravi's inconsistent statements, says NMA. Biren echoes Amit Shah's assurance of protecting state's integrity. Rules out holding assembly session. The Morning Bell. Center likely to invite state CSOs Kokomi for talks, says Chief Minister. Appeals public to trust government and remain calm. Congress MLAs to leave for New Delhi today to meet Prime Minister, Home Minister. Amit Saha's assurance to safeguard integrity not a new thing, says Ibobi. Naga Mothers Association holds talk with Kokomi, Mairapaibi Association. Drug peddler arrested with heroin pack in shop caps. Manipur University students, teachers, skip classes to participate in pro-integrity protest. Manipur Mail, Trust Centre, no assembly session, says Chief Minister Biren. President's rule in Maharashtra. Japanese encephalitis vaccination at Tamanglong. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again.
Ahmed Good Habits and Learn, says Dr. Lenin. Seven kill in Kabul after car bomb blasts near Interior Ministry. An alert to task demand disclosure of Indonesia agreement. That's all we have in this bulletin. Keep watching Times of Manpur News.